first started training in September 2013. Um, I when I was training then, it was just for fun. It was just because I liked watching UFC and stuff. Um, so I just wanted to learn the trade kind of thing. Um, my first fight was 2014, February on ISFC. So I've only been training six years from scratch. Um, I turned professional in 2015. I broke my hand, so I was out for a year. So I've only been professional really for three years. On the amateur circuit, my first fight was at ISFC, where I won by guillotine. I had four amateur fights. Um, I went 4 and 0 at amateur and turned pro in 2015. Um, I fought my first pro fight and broke my hand in the first 20 seconds, which I ended up winning. Um, I went 8 and 0 as an amateur on the regional circuit. I fought in the likes of FCC, um, Fight Star Championships, um, a few different shows. Um, I went 8-0 and, um, and then I went to the UFC and fought in Abu Dhabi for my debut. Let's move our feet, let's move our waist, let's constantly I'm give Kyle a different Prince, look. Kyle Prince, head coach here, managed the top team, we opened around five to six weeks, uh, trying to bring everything in a much more professional uh, umbrella and environment. So obviously Gabriel Benitez comes with a specific skill set, having been southpaw, you know, uh, everything just changes just slightly. Uh, not just the basic uh, rhythm and feel of what you would do against a left-handed opponent, but a little bit of a game plan, some specifics for, for Gabriel Benitez. But again, we're always looking at improving Lerone Murphy. We're not focused on, on one opponent because you focus on one opponent, it gets a little bit too short-sighted. And the, the gains you can make in eight weeks shouldn't just be for one person. It should be for yourself. And really focus on every part of Lerone's game coming up. And, and obviously not just Lerone's, but all the other guys in the gym. And, and now we have uh, Magomed Shevchenko. Uh, just to add in a little bit of wrestling and a little bit that we did get a little bit not found out on the world stage but a little exposed that that's where we need to add a little bit of skill um, for us to avoid a little bit of a deficit. The grappling needs to keep up the striking where the striking is probably already in my opinion in the top five of the division. The first part of our training today was with Carl Prince it was more of a uh, striking attack and defend kind of thing um, and the second part was with Maga just working on the, um, the grappling techniques just holding down and um, pinning and finishing against the cage. My last fight in the UFC which was my debut was on three weeks notice. I just come off holiday um, with my family all inclusive in Jamaica. I was about 82 kilos. Um, I had to cut 16 kilos in three weeks. I ended up going the distance with Tukagov um, which was a good three round war. I lost the first round pretty massively which caused a draw. Um, after that he didn't land a shot. Um, I beat him for two rounds and it has end ended up being a draw in his own time. Walking out in Abu Dhabi as the away fighter was crazy because it's like it was electrifying the booze, give me more energy um, and I can't wait to fight in front of my hometown in London where I'm the home fighter and everybody's cheering for me. Down here at Manchester top team we've got we've got six set up. Loads of good lads. We've got lads that are coming down um, from, from, from all over the place to spar because they know once you step on this mat it's smoke season no one gets off lightly in here um, anyone can get it doesn't matter who you are where you're from where you're ranked it don't matter um, you step on here and, and, and people are biting down on the gum shields and, and giving you the heart and soul to tell people that yeah what do you do well basically I'll get up in the morning I'll go to the gym me and my best friend who uh, went out for tea last night and, uh, and went to a play centre with the kids uh, this morning we're punching each other's head in uh, and then straight after that we'll touch gut, we'll touch touch hands and then we'll go get food together. It's the most obscene, weirdest thing to explain to someone who goes and does a nine to five in an office. Like yeah we get up and look at the state of my face like, do you know what I mean? But at the same time I think what you get from what you get from, from this line of work is you get a deep sense of, uh, of who you are, you can't hide on here can't hide who you are on here. You, you can hide who you are in, in jobs and, and in this and in that, but, but on here you get found out very quick. So right now we've just started camp, so it's just technical bits. Um, I'm fighting a southport, so every, all the dynamics change, the wrestling changes, the striking changes, the distance changes. So for now we're just working on the technical bits of it, um, getting out, out of the way the left hand, the left body kick, whatever else. <laughs> In fight camp, you have to take it serious. You have to train like you're going to fight. 
there's no prisoners. If a, if if a, if a spare the guys on the mat here, I'll go in. I'll go into the fight with that kind of mindset. And it's like you can't afford to. You got to be kill it. It's kill or be killed at that level. Laurent's come so far in, in six years' time. It's like quite crazy to, to to think about how short of a of a time within the sport that is. Uh, there's some guys who are just getting to the UFC after 15 years in the gym. So Laurent turned pro after maybe 18 months as an amateur. A real busy schedule. And, and, and had a year out of the gym with an injury. So in that three years, he's, he's obviously traversed every opponent that he's had and managed to find his way to the UFC. Um, and what makes him so special is just, it's just his work ethic and the way that he approached every situation. Um, there's nothing that's, that's ever daunted him that I've ever seen in the gym. And, and also the, the presence of someone that's a perhaps name, some people would like go into shy retirement, whereas that's like, okay, let's get as many rounds with it. And it's just the, the correct attitude and, and, and how you can, game going forward and, and again there's no easy way to get in better it's just consistency and those who show up every day they get the results but to show up every day and still get to the pinnacle of our sport within six years it's really no easy feat and, and everybody inside the gym is dead proud of it. So in fight camp um, I kind of keep the carbs kind of low um, I normally go vegan for the last three weeks to get the last bit of weight off but other than that I'm a pescatarian so that means I eat fish I don't eat meat ever Outside of camp, I love food, so I eat a lot of carbs, chips, chocolate, cakes, biscuits, whatever, but this year I'm trying to keep my weight around 77 kilos and not balloon up too big. So in 2020, in the perfect world, I would like to have three fights. Um, I have three fights left on my contract, so I want to make the last, the, the next three fights, big fights, get a new contract next year go again three fights so three fights is perfect for me gives me time to train get better obviously i've only had eight fights i've only had 12 fights in total so i'm still new to the game I'm still learning obviously i want to do well for myself but i also want to do well for my family um, i've got a little boy i i want to be his inspiration i want him to go to school and say i'm his dad basically and be proud of me do you know what i mean so that's my drive so moving forward after this fight, obviously, um, the division is very deep. It, it doesn't matter who you fight, you're going to get a tough fight, you're going to get a hard fight. Um, so it doesn't really matter who you're fighting at this level. Um, everybody's good, everybody's very good. So it's whoever, whenever. So from a downtime, I like to spend it with my friends, just have a little laugh, go for food, obviously. Food's my, my number one thing. Um, sometimes we go to the driving range, play a bit of golf, play a bit of pool, poker. Um, just little things like that, just to rest. Because when you obviously when you train hard through the daytime, you don't have much energy to do much things. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's just um, little energy exertion, the most fun. The bum's <laughs> call of duty, believe me. I'm undefeated on any game. I'm the best gamer out there. Gamer tag is L Miracle One Four Five. Add me up. My favourite sparring partner is Lawrence James because he's a punch bag who walks forward and I, and I just punch his head off every Look at day. my face and I'm meant to be a model. You know what I mean? Nice one, mate. Cheers. Don't punch my head off every day. Every day. This is about you, bro. My man wants me to talk about you. So watch. Tell the truth, What? Guys, I'm f***ing arsehole, you know, I can't stand him, yeah? Everything I do, he's got something to say. I call him a granddad because he's one miserable guy, yeah? 